Welcome to The Marinade, a free-flowing conversation about the creative process with creative people. Each episode, we welcome musicians, actors, comedians, authors, visual artists, filmmakers, anyone who creates art to talk about how and why we make stuff. This is the latest installment of our Jason's Journal series. We're fortunate to have the pleasure of covering shows and festivals as The Marinade and part of that coverage I like to give short recaps of my experiences each day if I'm at a festival or if I'm on the road traveling to cover something so in this episode I'm coming to you from Spirit of the Swanee Music Park at Swanee Spring Reunion 2024 Swanee is uh, kind of a paradise for me I've been coming here since 2012 and have been in love with the place since my first visit. This is my first trip back after a couple of years away due to just life getting in the way. Uh, I'm heading into this experience at Swanee with my mind and heart in a blissful place. For the last few years, the Roots festivals here have been more of an escape than anything else. And so far this weekend has served to enhance my mood. A light rain falls as I record this. I'm sitting on the front porch of the cafe, as you can hear folks talking in the background and going about their day. Music started about an hour ago. You might be able to hear that faintly in the distance. It's a little afternoon, and the coffee from the cafe is starting to do its work on my body and mind. Breakfast here is an experience. Overwork staff, uh, who you just heard, (laughs) coffee and styrofoam cups, no clear system for paying or getting your drink. Um, characters abound. It's a writer's paradise. I'm just always so happy when I'm here. You know, one of the things that I realized in the last few days is that I had gotten away from embracing my roots over the last decade or so and am now finding my way back home, Uh, reckoning with my attitudes about small town Florida and how my worldview can fit within that framework and not completely outside of it or shunning it in some of the ways that I know I have and that being said while I've all I haven't always felt at home in my hometown that's not the case with Swanee when I'm here I know I belong pulling into the gates is a relaxing passage I typically camp in the bird sanctuary someone is surprisingly in my normal spot this time so I looked around and uh, found what might be my new regular home a little closer to the action I really like the bird sanctuary for its peaceful air. Um, As I'll talk about a little bit more later, I I typically really enjoy kind of a lot of the solitude that I feel out here. There's a lot of people, but I also, and I have my festival family, but I also feel like I can can be alone and be myself. Music starts at four uh, with the Swanee staple Sloppy Joe, but by the time I've set up camp and gotten situated, it's nearly five. And so I'm in time for most of Hattie Craven and Joe Craven. The crowd seems to be larger than I expected this year, and folks are filling up the area around the porch stage for what is always a delightful set by the Cravens. You know, there's this recognition I have as I'm standing there. Festival smiles are a different flavor of joy, and they're definitely in abundance here today. The Steel Wheels are up next on the amphitheater stage. This is a band I knew by name only, but by the end of the night, I owned their latest record on vinyl and a t-shirt and were singing, and was singing their praises on social media and to anybody who would listen. Master musicians playing folk-influenced music that feels like it could break into any genre at any moment. And that's what happened during their second set later at the Music Hall. If you've never been to Swanee, some context is probably helpful. The amphitheater is a stunning natural outdoor performance space with an oak tree canopy. Um, Folks string hammocks along the upper reaches of the bowl and set out camping chairs up closer. It's an experience unlike any other. The Music Hall is outside the gates of the festival proper. And the aforementioned cafe occupies the back of the room. It makes for a very homey, intimate space. So that later set by the Steel Wheels, they were letting loose a little bit. It's later in the night. They're in the music hall instead of out on the the main stage in the amphitheater. And the highlight of that later set was a cover of Radiohead's There, There. There's this moment where I'm like, is that Radiohead? Is that There, There? Of all the covers from their incredible record, Hail to the Thief, and the skill with which the Steel Wheels made the tune their own, 
coupled with the surprise of hearing that particular song just left me elated. One of the challenges for me at a festival like this is that uh, I'm a morning person and I like my sleep. So by 1130, which is when their set ended and Town Mountains began in the amphitheater, I'm spent. You know, one of Swanee's hallmarks is the music that happens in picking circles around fires and the campground. Y'all, I rarely make those. <laughs> there, maybe there's a such thing as too much magic. So I caught a few songs from Town Mountain. Those guys have come a long way uh, since I first started seeing them years ago. And they're not to be missed if you can help it. But the lure of my tent was way too strong. And I wandered back to camp as they rolled through a rendition of Snow and on Raton. Y'all, this has been the first installment of Jason's Journal Live from Swanee Spring Reunion 2024. I hope you liked it. I'll bring you some updates throughout the weekend and another one of these episodes tomorrow afternoon. Make sure you're subscribed on your podcast app so you don't miss more Swanee stories or feature episodes. we got a lot of stuff coming your way. The return of Sammy K. Um, we've got so much great stuff on the horizon as well. Um, so I'm excited for just really what feels like an, another abundance of riches for the marinade marinade podcast.com for all things, the marinade follow us on socials for even more celebration of art and the creative process. And until next time, go out and create something. Cheers y'all.